it's hard to find just, someone. You could just sit and watch them all day. Who appreciates the bald eagle more? See them up so close to me. Than photographer Eagle Eye Steve Allen in Egan. For some reason, they always look down at their catch. I don't know why. And since I'm in so many eagle groups, you, you see stuff right away. And recently, he came across a new study highlighting a new virus affecting his favorite bird, which was removed from the endangered species list in 2007. Just hope it doesn't spread this way. I think it's more of a... Of, of a note of warning. Tony Goldberg at UW-Madison is the lead author of the study that shows nearly a third of bald eagles across the country are infected with bald eagle hepasivirus. He says this new virus could be connected to a separate fatal disease that's been impacting bald eagles for years called Wisconsin River Eagle Syndrome, which causes eagles to have seizures, among other things. However, Goldberg says he found eagles from other states with the new virus without those symptoms. This virus is associated with places where the syndrome occurs, but it's not a perfect association. The good news is both the virus and the syndrome are not endangering the bald eagle at this time. We want to keep track of it. We want to know what, it, what its effects are, if any, and what other infections might be out there. Back in Egan, there's eagles down here year round. Eagle watchers like Steve hope researchers like Tony are able to solve this. Hopefully they figure it out right away and it doesn't make too big of an effect on them. In Egan, Alex Hagan, Care 11 News.